Yo, what's poppin' people called for Star Green? Back with you got in the video. Your first time finding my channel or anything, you got definitely the subscribe button. Also, that video. Yes, power family. I know, I know, I know it has been forever. And I'm back, y'all. I'm completely back. Uh, gonna be doing weekly talks about the power stuff and maybe even some things that happen in the episode. We'll talk about it separately. But uh, if you guys see this background or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Moved into my new spot. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about the camera angle. I'm probably gonna be end up switching a lot of things. Uh, up so let's talk about yeah why y'all here man power book four force the new Tommy spin up now one thing I'm going to say about this is this as if you guys remember the last time you seen Tommy now if you guys miss power book two you might miss a couple of little things but uh last time we seen Tommy he was grieving for ghosts <laughs> you know what I'm saying he had uh, seen ghosts die in his very arms and you're like, okay, what 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 will come of this? You know what I'm saying? What will become of Tommy? Well, if you guys completely missed Power Book Two, he was actually at the end of Power Book Two season one. Now, do y'all don't ask me. I have not seen Power Book Two season two at all. Don't even don't even hit me up with that. Don't even. I have not seen it at all. But that's the last time we seen him. Mona had a goddamn gun to Tommy's head. And Tommy said, F this, I'm heading to Chicago. Now, was that a good thing or was that a bad thing? What are you going to have to figure out here? Now, a couple things I am going to say about this show. And this ain't even like going in depth or anything like that. But one thing I actually did like so far, and it's crazy that I'm saying this. But um, at least from what I've seen, you know, I, it's only been one episode and, and, and stuff like that. But this show... At least from the get go, man, this show, at least to me, is very grounded. You know what I'm saying? Me watching this first episode and me sitting through and watching it, man, it starts out with Tommy having a PT, going through PTSD because he lost um, his girlfriend, he lost cash, he lost ghosts, and stuff like that. So at the beginning, we are going through Tommy having major, major. <laughs> I ain't even had PTSD like this before, but Tommy is having major, major, major PTSD from what has happened in his life and stuff like that. So, and and when I when I watch these power shows, this is just a you know this is a big drug dealing show and stuff like that, right? So, I like especially these shows like this to be grounded and stuff like that. Like when I watch Power Book Two, it's just so much crazy stuff going on. I'm like, yeah, of course this isn't realistic, but at least when I'm watching, at least for episode one on Power Book 4, I'm like, yo, this could actually happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, and I, that's a kudos to the writing squad. You know what I'm saying? Don't make this bigger than what it needs to be. It'll be fine on its own, you know? So I'm really, really enjoying the writing we're seeing, on, the, especially on this first episode, man. I know not a lot of killing went on in the first episode and not too much action went on. But that don't need to be the first episode. You know what I'm saying? Let us get introduced to these new characters you have that, that we're, you know, going to get accustomed to and getting used to. So I really need to appreciate what they did with the first episode. Kept it super grounded. Hopefully it stays grounded. I don't know, man. You know power and you know when Kim get involved, you know, who knows? You never know what was going to happen. But this first episode of Power Book 4, I loved it. Now, you know what I'm saying? Um, we get though Tommy... And he's coming to Chicago. It's crazy how Tommy comes to Chicago, right? Or wherever he goes. And it's instantly like, bruh, he, this dude Tommy makes enemies on impact. Like, he got there two seconds and made an enemy. Like, bruh. Now, I know Tommy can completely handle himself. But I'm like, Tommy, god damn, you can't, you can't have a normal life for two seconds, bruh, before you making enemies. But, hey, that's why we like Tommy. Tommy's a complete hothead, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, even like the, yeah, it's the first freaking two seconds of the episode, he's already making enemies, you know? So, yeah. I, and I'll have to say, man, right after that moment, we get another moment. Now, I have been on this guy's show before and stuff like that. And he even told me, or I don't know if he told me, but he, he had said to his chat and stuff like that, that he was going to be in Power Book 4. And, uh... If you guys don't know exactly who I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about Jay Moore Reviews. Whenever I seen Jay Moore, I'm sitting there like, ain't no way, bruh. Now, I thought if he was going to be in this show, he might be doing like cutting some hair or something like that. They got my man, they got my man Jay Moore 
as a goddamn executive, you know what I'm saying, a force to be reckoned with, <laughs> a force to be reckoned with in a goddamn prison. So I'm like, you know what? I'm rocking with this, man. I'm rocking with it. I'm, I'm happy to see Jay's acting and uh, doing, getting some more gigs. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, especially how they've introduced Jay's character now. Yeah, I'm, I'm like pretty sure that he's going to be a, a, a main person in this show or one of the main people in the show. So yeah, man, get good kudos, kudos to Jay, man. I ain't got no uh, disrespect for anybody. So good kudos to Jay, man. I'm, I'm glad to see him doing big things. But what I'm saying with that is that they're giving us time to get to know these characters. You know, we, man, we spent damn near like half the episode uh, dealing with one character. His name was Chris uh, Lofton in real life. But on the show, his character is uh, Gennard. I believe that's his name, Gennard. But, man, this guy right here, man. Hold on, let me find a picture of him. But this guy in the top or the bottom like right here i'll show you guys exactly but we're getting it we're getting to know him man like god damn like i'm so glad they're taking they're they're at least from what i'm seeing this show is really taking their time you know it's not like oh we jumping out and they instantly in gun battles you know what i'm saying no this you know what i'm saying he's he's hooking up his friend with getting a barber shop you know what i'm saying like he, now his friend like that was and i'm pretty sure it's gonna go nowhere if i know power I know that him and him serving 15 years for murdering and shooting people, I'm 90% sure it's going to be coming back. You know what I'm saying? They're going to definitely have him probably kill some more people. He might even be like Tommy's rival or something maybe down the line. Who knows? But I'm definitely liking the cast so far. I'm liking the acting I'm seeing too because none of the none of the acting, because you know you watch Power Book too, you know some of the acting look a little off. And I've been on that numerous amount of times. But watching Power Book 4, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? This acting is pretty good. Now, there's a couple of problems I have with the writing, right? Now, I know it's power, so we're eventually going to get, you know, certain stuff happening. But let me tell you what don't make any sense. Now, Tommy has been in, in Chicago for a day, and he's already sleeping with this chick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if they felt like they had to put in a sex scene it like if somebody told him yo you got to have one sex scene per episode or something like that but then these two these two hooking up right here uh tommy egan tommy egan and uh let me find her name uh gloria i believe that's how you say her name like later in the episode they end up having sex together and i'm sitting there and i'm watching it and i'm like this just seems forced you know what i'm saying like you don't have to force this sex scene here now, I know we want to get to know our characters really well, but y'all do not got to force a sex scene between these two 10 minutes after they met. You know what I'm saying? They literally met for 10 minutes, and now they're having sex together. I just, I didn't, I, I was just like, that That just, that just part right there feels way too rushed. You know what I'm saying? Let's build up to that point, you know? Now, I ain't going to lie. If they met on Tinder or something like that, have at it, bro, because I've been on a lot of Tinder dates where stuff happened a little quick. But when they when he goes to a bar and he meets this chick and instantly he just you know has sex with her and stuff like that I'm just like yeah they come on y'all y'all could have fleshed it out a little bit better but it is what it is I let it slide I let it slide now another thing I'm gonna say in this episode man is that the pacing is really well in this episode also but like I said earlier you were getting new we're getting introduced to new characters and not even we're getting introduced to these new characters. It's like all of these side plots that they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like the Flynn family. Because we're, we're now getting introduced to the Flynn family and how they pretty much are running Chicago, right? I want to go deeper into that, which I'm pretty sure we will go deeper into that. Um, but even the son of Vic Flynn, a.k.a. Shane Harper, that's how you say his name. I was even interested with his character. You know, he plays the son and son-in-law or the son. To uh, Flynn, the father. And I'm like, I'm interested with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see the thing he has going on with, I believe, his sister. And, like, what they got going on with the family business. And now, how does Tommy work with this family business? You know what I'm saying? Because if you guys have seen the, the preview for the next episode, Tommy's pretty much showing back up. And he's going to be end up working for them. All right, well, that's what I saw. But even with this, man, I'm just like, yes, like... 
all of these characters we're getting introduced to, if they not being rushed, they it works. You know what I'm saying? If there's like nothing, I, I, I can't make any complaints on this episode. Yo. I'm being completely honest. I cannot make any complaints. It was, the episode was like an hour. It didn't even feel like an hour. It may have felt like 30 minutes. So that's also a good thing. That's kudos for the pacing. But man, just to see Tommy, you know what I'm saying, going through causing, oh shoot, I can see my crap. Causing havoc like on the first day, meet, meeting enemies, saving lives on the first goddamn day. I'm like, this is why I watch Power, man. Because I'm attracted and I'm interested in these characters. And this first episode, I felt nothing short of that. You know what I'm saying? I felt nothing short of Tommy interacting with these characters that we're going to get to know a lot better in the future. And I'm like, this works. You know what I'm saying? I think the, this like, you know how earlier I said how the episode felt really grounded and stuff like that. The craziest thing, and this is kudos to the, to the writers, but the craziest thing, y'all, that happened in this episode, y'all can call me out on it or not, but the craziest thing that happens in, in this episode is when this whole entire deal goes down and these two junkies end up messing everything up. That was the craziest thing that happened in the episode. And even that part kind of felt realistic to us to a fault. So I'm like, yes, like if this, I'm gonna be real, if this is how crazy we're gonna get right here, then this works because what pushes it to the forefront is the writing. The writing gets pushed to the forefront. And that's what I like the most. Because, you know, you see a lot of shows. It's like a lot of movies you'll see. It's action first, action first, action first. You know what I'm saying? Even sex pieces, action pieces, whatever. But this show, at least from the first episode, it's the writing comes first, y'all. We, You know, Tommy's meeting his grandmother that he thought that he thought was dead. Tommy, oh, I didn't even talk about this part. I kind of completely forgot about it. But shoot, even in the episode, later on the episode, freaking Tommy, which I thought was kind of crazy they pulled this out their ass, but Tommy freaking at the end of at the end of the episode kind of figures out and finds out that yo, this dude's got a brother. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, no cap. Whenever this dude was talking about how he was Tommy's brother. I was one thing I was saying, I was like, yo, they kind of do look alike. You know what I'm saying? Like just a little bit. They kind of do look alike in their own little way. But it was interesting because I was thinking to myself, what 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 are they gonna do with this now? Like, is he gonna be joining? And I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up happening. But is Tommy's brother gonna end up uh joining him and joining forces with Tommy, working side by side with Tommy? Will that happen eventually? Which I think it I think it will because there's a lot of there'll be a lot of interest in that little side plot right there with his brother, and what they could possibly do with their with his brother. So I think something will end up happening right there. But man, I know this video ain't that long. Um, it's actually four o'clock in the morning where I'm at. So um, man, these this first episode, man, I got no complaints, man. I got no complaints. It was super grounded. Um, and that's just all I asked for, man. Especially, I want a show to feel realistic, you know? This first episode felt really realistic. Now, if you go watch Power Book 2, man, none of that crap feels realistic, man. You can kill somebody in a pool with a bunch of cameras and no one knows who did it, you know what I'm saying? It's just stuff like that. Um, but what I'm liking so far, I'm really liking the writing here. The pace and everything is really good. Acting, top notch, at least so far. I got no complaints here, man. I'm going to keep reviewing the show. I know this, this this little video was a little different, and it wasn't to my full extent. Don't worry, y'all. I got to get everything set up here. Um, I'm kind of working a little bit different than, than I'm used to. But that will all get done in due time. Um, y'all first time finding my channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, the video. Tell me y'all's thoughts, complaints, criticism, stuff like that down below. And, hey, we'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.